Hey guys, I'm just going to show you quickly how I clean my airbrush. So once you finish with your airbrush and you're ready to clean it, you just disconnect it and quick disconnect. Um, I take off the cup and this really doesn't have any particular order. You could just take out everything and put it in a bowl that is long enough to take the needle. So I'm going to take off the back, take off the nut that holds the um, needle in place. Just be very careful with the needle. Just pull it straight out and place that in the bowl. And then I'm just going to finish disassembling or unassembling the airbrush. this is the front now. Now remember for these um, Renegade series they have an extremely small self-centering nozzle so you want to be very careful with this. That little guy right there he just comes right out. So be very careful with that when you put it in the water. Make sure it's the first thing that you look for when you're going to put together your airbrush again. It's so small. And there you have your airbrush in pieces in your bowl. So at this point what I do, I fill it with water. So now that I have the water in here, I'm just going to take some Badger Opaque Cleaner and put enough in it so that the water will become nice and soapy, not too soapy because it's a mild cleaner and it has a pink tinge to it. So just going to squeeze some all over in there. I should show you that. Badger Aero Pit Cleaner. And now I have the cleaner, the set of cleaners. And I'm just going to lightly scrub the inside of the airbrush. Make sure you get your cleaner nice and wet. And just give it a light scrub. Make sure you break up any paint and dip. And as you can see, the black is coming out, and that's exactly what you want. You want it to get nice and clean. take the smallest one and just gently push it through the front of the airbrush and twirl it around make sure you get any paint that will be stuck in there and you just dip it and run some water through it and we have some paint right here so you just scrub that out and you let it soak and you can take the inside of the cup now you know that's gonna harbor some dried paint and just move it around and get that paint broken up so typically I will let this soak for maybe 15, 20, half an hour depends on how long I was using it to just let all the paint break up and then I go back in them with the brushes and do another cleaning so when that's done I'm going to show you how I lay it out for it to dry and then how I reassemble
Okay, now that you had your brush soaking for a while, just make sure to find that self-centering nozzle, that small little piece, and put it back in to the earbrush. And then put one of the caps back on. That way you know you don't lose it. Alright. So what I'm going to do is throw out this dirty water and just rinse it. And I'm going to show you how I put it up to dry. After you rinse out your parts in clean water, just place them on maybe a paper towel or a sheet of that brown paper and just let it dry. I usually leave mine for probably like an hour or more or even overnight. Just put it somewhere that no one is going to knock it over. And when it's dry, reassemble and put it into its case. And that's how I clean my airbrush.